How's it? This is uh, Rudy Tongari with Hawaii Sports Report, and I'm here with Timothy James, uh, MPBoxing.com. Yeah. Uh, so, hey, how, how has it been going? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, how's it? Three, two, one. How's it been going um, with, with Manny Pacquiao and, 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 and the whole ride? It's crazy. I mean, I think today is May 4th. We're three days out from the fight. It's the last day of training. We started filming what was called the Road to Mosley day one of Baguio and we were showing the, the fans because they don't understand when Manny Pacquiao starts out his training eight weeks, before, eight weeks before the fight it's not like how he enters the fight he has to stretch he has to loosen up his timings off it's it's different so we were trying to give the fans something different but for me as a fan of Manny Pacquiao to be three days out man it, it's hammer time you know it says our last workout so it's crazy that's 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 awesome stuff, and 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 for people like us who, who who's just experiencing it for for the first time and get, getting it all in, it's such a great experience. Um, so 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 you traveled to the Philippines already with with, with yeah. Team Pacquiao, and yeah. and uh, what's that like? What's that's your awesome. what's your experience like in the Philippines and, and Manny? Yeah. You know, we see Manny here in, in the states, yeah. and how is Manny like back home in his element and um, you know back in his yeah. country? C couple questions there. I've been I've been to the Philippines I think seven times in the last two. Years. Wow. Spent nine weeks there at one point, and, and I love it. Um, I was already a fan of Manny, and I was mm -hmm. a friend of Manny, but I fell in love with the Filipino culture mm -hmm. and the Filipino people. Just mm -hmm. incredible. I mean, they when you enter their home, they make sure you're comfortable. They make sure you're fed. They, you know, and mm -hmm. you feed me, I'm come. You know, I always come back. So, mm -hmm. uh, great food. Was introduced to the Filipino food, and, and became a, I became a friend of Manny before um, uh, before the Delaholi fight, and started running his website after that. And uh, uh, lo love the Philippines. Love the Filipino culture. Manny over there is like times 10 over here I mean you can't go down the mall they sometimes have to shut the mall down when Manny goes shopping Amazing. which they don't mind because he probably spends more <laughs> you know than everybody yeah, else combined average, yeah. yeah so very wow. good awesome so real quick you said you're from Hawaii yes we I are got, I got to represent they didn't know check so it I, out I got the BJ on today BJ is my my favorite fighter in the UFC and I wrote an article uh, before that the similarities between Manny Pacquiao and BJ Penn I thought they're both warriors. They both go out there to entertain and to finish the fight. Um, totally different than somebody like a George St. Pierre or somebody like uh, um, uh, the, the cat that he fought last time that he got the draw with. See, see, I don't even remember his name. Uh, you know, it's a guy that goes out there just to win or just to outpoint somebody, not BJ. BJ will risk losing to submit somebody, risk losing to get knocked out or knock somebody out. So I'm the biggest fan of BJ. Uh, uh, the big, big fan is probably my phone. No, uh, um, and, uh, uh, you know, one of my goals is what we're doing right now with BJ is, is to actually introduce him to all the Manny Pacquiao fans and vice versa and introduce him to the site uh, because the reality is that the more fans somebody has, the more pay-per-views, the bigger the paycheck is. And, and if anybody deserves it in the sport of uh, MMA, it's BJ Penn. Absol absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Okay. Uh, uh, speaking of BJ Penn, um, uh, we, we were at MPBoxing.com and we saw a, a little clip that you had, uh, you had posted. Yeah. Uh, Manny was intently, if I could say, watching BJ Penn jump out of the pool. Uh, um, and uh, Manny was studying it and looking at it carefully. And you know, what, what was what, what was going through Manny's uh, head at that, that time? The, the interesting thing is, first off, I, I suck as a, a camera guy because I showed Manny that 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 video of, of uh, BJ, and all of a sudden, I mean, Manny played that thing back five times and I'm fumbling to get my camera and turn it on and I'm trying to get it going and finally I got it so you guys got the last Manny's a, Manny's an interesting dude okay Manny doesn't just do something he becomes something that's the thing that separates him from most people and they, people don't realize that when he's in the ring he's not a fighter I mean he becomes that 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 different in, in the ring he actually becomes the sport and the same thing when he was watching BJ what he was doing was he was actually going through every single moment until he got out of the water and that's how he does everything in life that's why he can be a congressman that's why he can sell a million albums that's why he can be one of the best billiard players I in the Philippines why he's the best boxer in the world eight-time champion is because he puts himself into a different level than most people and you guys actually were one of the very few people that got to witness that you saw how intense he is he figures it out and he actually becomes it, which is interesting. If you guys don't know what we're talking about yet, mpboxing.com. Go ahead and visit uh, that site. And then once again, we'd like to thank Timothy James for giving us his time and his insight into uh, the life of Manny Pacquiao. I hope to see you guys in Hawaii soon. Absolutely.